Like, I'm talking about teased me every single day that I pulled up on the block. They was like, it was me versus my whole best out crew, Steve Mack. We were on the dock about it. And we had the battle because I was like, yo, we got a battle. And then that's when they respected him because he was when talking. When you say about, battle, what you mean? Like, like dance? We, we went, they no, improved on, it. Bro. We went to, uh, we, <laughs> we went to, uh, sorry, sorry. we went back in the day. Well, let me tell you what this battle. We went, because what happened was we were um, in the park on 145th Street, right? At the time, I managed an original pl flavor. And this is right, like, after, like, the real pain of full, where I was like, yo, I quit hustling. I'm going to start to uh, manage groups. Yeah. And my, but all my friends were still hustling, and they used to tease me about my groups because they were like, no, they weren't about hustling. And Steve Mack um, crew, they were from 3333, they were called the Harlem Knights. And they used to rap about murder, rob, all this shit. And honestly, I listen to rock and roll. I don't want to hear about all that shit. It's, it's traumatizing because I used to be in the street seeing it. So I used to listen to Z100. I was a rock and roll guy. I didn't want to hear about the street. So that's why I was doing it. That's why I, would, I, I never did it. So, um, so we were in the park and I had original flavor with me and the Harlem Knights is there. We on 145th Street and they pressing my, my group trying to battle. And I'm like, yo, first of all, we in Harlem. I'm not going to have y'all battling right there. We'll do it another place. So Steve thought that we were scared or whatever. And my man T. Strong, Tone Hooker, went and got my man. He's in a wheelchair. I forget his name. Damn, man, damn, I just forgot his name. But he had a... a um, a, a pool hall, and we went and all we had that. So I call him like, "Yeah, nigga, I'll meet you here." Boom, boom, boom. And um, Steve calls the Rough Riders. I don't know why or how that happened, but DMX shows up, <laughs> and Jay's there, and we get at it on the pool tables. One of his artists pulls out a gun. All my artists, everybody start pulling out guns. This dude that was um, with them was trying to, you know, was like kind of said some slick shit because I was beefing and the dude had a tech on him and Tone Hooker saw it so he sent his boys to go get it was crazy but we battled but I had to battle to get the respect because but my point is everybody told me no everybody told me Jay was corny and whack everybody told me not to fuck with him and I did it and look what happened 